any case, the NFL, you know, week 10, it wrapped up, and I gotta tell you, another wild week, huh? Another wild week of the NFL, let me tell you, I, I, I don't know what happened here. Like, you have the, the commanders beating the Eagles, the score is, it, it, it kind of, it kind of, you know, is, uh, it's a little misleading, but, you know, the commanders behind Taylor Heineke, of all guys, beat the Eagles. Insanity. Pure, insane stuff. You also had that Thursday night game in which the Panthers were able to take care of business against the Falcons. So they beat the Falcons in the second matchup of these two teams. Um, you know, you know, Foreman was able to run all over them, like over the Falcons at least. They they made Trample Bird. You can get my truth. And I, I, like like these two teams that literally played less than two weeks ago and the Falcons they got beat this time there's also that game in Germany early in the morning in Germany the Buccaneers beat the Seahawks I know wild right that defense finally was able to shut down somebody Tom Brady was able to throw some touchdowns with purpose again then again the Bucks were running all over the Seahawks with Leonard Fournette and company like where was this all season long? And now the Bucks are 500. And I believe they lead the NFC South now. So, I don't know. You also have the Lions beating the Bears. Like, Justin Jefferson. No, we'll talk about Justin Jefferson in a minute. Justin Fields. Justin Fields is out here having an insane last couple weeks to where this man is out here doing whatever he wants. And yet the Lions... Like Uno reverse card, we're gonna we're gonna score on you guys too. It it just doesn't make any sense. So the Lions beat the Bears, the Dolphins destroy the Browns, the Broncos still have no offense, they lose to the Titans, who also have no offense. The Giants took care of business against the Texans, the Chiefs took care of the Jags behind Mahomes feeding everybody. Everybody was getting, you know, everybody was getting a spoonful of something. Everybody on that Chiefs offense was getting a spoonful of something. They were they were roasting the Jags. The Steelers, surprisingly enough, beat the Saints. Wild stuff. The Raiders blew it again against the Colts. Keep in mind, this is Jeff Saturday's first game as a head coach. First game as a head coach. You don't make this stuff up, man. John Wolford was the quarterback for the Rams, so obviously... And naturally, they lose to the Cardinals. <laughs> like it, 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 it. Uh, I don't know, man. Colt McCoy was the quarterback in this game. Colt McCoy was the quarterback for the Cardinals. It's like why, why, man, why? But we got to talk about you know three big games here, you know. Actually, no, two, because the 49ers beat the Chargers. I did not watch this game, by the way. Um, but we got to talk about these other two games here. First things first, Vikings-Bills. Insanity at the end of this game. Pure insanity, let me tell you. Like, you have the Diggs catch, which was insane. But then Justin Jefferson decided to... You know, throw up that Uno reverse card himself and say, uh-uh, this is one of the greatest catches I think I've ever seen in my entire life. This is one of the greatest catches I think that has been recorded in the NFL in, honestly, the entire history. Insanity is what that catch was by Jefferson. And then you have the ending. The end of the regulation and then OT, because this game had to go to overtime. In the good regulation, the Vikings had the ball. Kirk Cousins, you know, tries to do a QB sneak in the end zone. It fails. Bills get the ball back at the one-yard line. Center snap exchange between the center and Josh Allen. No go. Vikings recover. Touchdown. And then, then the Bills decide to use that tactic they used against the Chiefs in the playoffs last year. And they get down the field 
very quickly, tie the game, and we go to OT, and then the Vikings, they win in OT. <laughs> like, what kind of game did we witness? I think we witnessed one of the greatest games in quite some time in the NFL. Like, the ending alone was insane. The ending alone was insane. Like, it just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, how? How did we get here? And then you had the Cowboys and the Packers. Oh my goodness, as a Cowboys fan, I was dreading this. I was like, I even said in the description of the preview, why is this game nationally televised? Put this game at noon so we don't have to see it. But no, Fox hyped it up, and it lived up to the hype. Again. And you know who's sad? Again. This guy. Because the Cowboys blew a 14 point lead and let Christian Watson, of all guys, the same Christian Watson that really, really, he didn't do anything his last year in North Dakota State. It was all Hunter Lipke. <laughs> it was all him. And he's still in North Dakota State. Like, Watson just, was just kind of there. He was injured most of the FCS playoffs last year. So, the fact of the matter is that he was out here dogging the Cowboys, out here making them defenders look foolish. You're making Aaron Rodgers, who's had one of the worst years I think I've seen in quite some time, from a quarterback that has had nothing but greatness, you know, on his side, you know, look like, look like trash, and now he's flourishing. You know, in a game like this against the heated rival, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense. Like, Pat, like Rogers didn't even throw the ball that much either, which is the sad thing. Like, the Packers win this game at OT. First time this game ever went to OT, by the way. And I'm just disappointed. I'm beyond disappointed. Cowboys had this in the bag, and they failed yet again against Aaron Rodgers. What is it going to take to beat Aaron Rodgers? What is it going to take for the Cowboys to beat Aaron Rodgers? I can't tell you because they can't beat this man. It's like trying to beat Tom Brady. You can't beat this man. They can't. It's impossible. It doesn't make any sense. And now the Cowboys, they sit in third in the NFC. You know... They might be sitting in last place, honestly. You know, if it weren't for the, you know, for things going, you know, other ways and other games and stuff like that. But the Cowboys are not in a good position right now. The Packers are in a little bit of a better position, but they're still way behind the Vikings. You know, like these divisional races are gonna start heating up. They have started heating up, and things are getting crazy. You know, as we continue to go on. You know, like. Like the way it looks now is that again the commanders are five and five, Eagles eight and one, Giants what seven and two, seven and one, seven and two, Cowboys have three losses. It's gonna be wild in the NFC East, I know. You know, some of these other division races are just you know, meh. Like the like the NFC North. Right now it's the Vikings to lose. Like not like the Vikings finally give us a game in which they look, you know, like a competitor, you know, way more than what they have been. Because again, they just been kind of under the radar throughout the first half of the season, and now they finally want to deliver us something good. They gave us something good. The Vikings gave us something good. Uh, the NFC right now, it's still kind of a crapshoot, considering you know we got a lot of contenders in the NFC. I think the NFC is going to be a dogfight yet again. You know, as we wind down in the season, the AFC a little, a little bit more cut and dry. You, you think the Bills, you think the Chiefs, you know, you think, you know, maybe, maybe the Bills, the Jets could do something. I don't have confidence in the Titans. I really don't. Unless Derrick Henry goes Super Saiyan, I don't have confidence right now in the Titans. And if there's anybody else in the AFC right now. Who are they and where are they at? You know, because I mean, the AFC North is still, 
you know, up for grabs between Cincy and Baltimore right now. You can't trust the Browns, and the Steelers is still terrible despite the fact they won. So, you know, 10 weeks into the season, I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. We still have a long way to get to February, and I, I like, I don't even know, man. How do we get, how, how, how do we top this week? We'll find out. I, I guarantee you, we'll find out next week. We'll find out. So, until then, we'll see you all tomorrow. We'll be talking college football tomorrow. And, yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.